comes episode 120 from right next to an undisclosed door which goes nowhere because there's no door handle so it's not going to open which is weird QT probably analyzing this dark red color with the scuff marks well, QT if you like dark reds that door should please you to no end on here 120 so 120 so for the people that love the snaps the Twitter where you can follow me but not literally stomping Sam Shaw who's apparently the TNA version of stomping Steve which is weird but it really is happening right down to the you don't understand catchphrase and the gloves if he starts eating pretzels and cheese and Stompin' Steve denies eating pretzels and cheese and asks why everyone calls him creepy, then you will know for an absolute fact that TNA is stealing the life of Stompin' Sever and putting it on their television product. Although you know that already because it's extremely obvious. So if you like Stompin' Sever, just watch him every night on Thursdays on Spike TV under the name Stomping Sam Shaw. So, the Facebook, the form screen, the YouTube, which you might be watching right now. Right now. Look at that. Comic book of Team IOU, whom I am in negotiations with on getting them on Turnbull. I sent my women's expert to them. They found her. She stuck a business card in their hand and or paw. Apparently. So hopefully we'll get them soon. So Nick, Iggy, and Carrie Awful, if you're watching, I'm not afraid to have Cameron beg for an interview if we have to. I will send her to wrestling arenas where you appear near and far. Near and far. If that doesn't work, she will forearm you. Business card of Casey Carlisle, whom I love. Hashtag best in the world. Hashtag whom I still love. Hashtag former NWA World Women's Champion. And look at that. There she is in a hot nurse's outfit. If you're a promoter and you don't hire her as your EMT because she is in an official hot nurse's outfit making her like de facto medical degree holder, something's wrong. What if someone got injured? They'd be like, hot nurse needed. Casey Curl would come running out in a hot nurse's outfit, set a broken leg, put a tourniquet on a cut something here she is with team bad knees Troy Miller and Miss Liz whom I will share a locker room with in March this month at Fort Wayne Heroes and Legends 3 and ironically there's three members of team bad knees now and there you know Casey Carlisle look at that look at that she should be at Heroes and Legends, Jason Maple. She really should. And there she is angry because she's not on Heroes and Legends. Really angry there. There she is studying for her medical degree in a Catholic schoolgirl outfit. There she is with her former title belt. And look how big that title was. She probably clears customs much quicker now. In a still cage. Look at that. With a pillow. She loves the pillow. It says so right on the shirt. Hot nurse's outfit. Again. So if you're a wrestling promoter and you don't hire this woman to take care of your performer, something's horribly wrong. And there she is with the belt again. Looks a little angry. She's not at Heroes and Legends. Looks a little angry. Here she does not look angry. Does not look angry. Street clothes Casey next to what appears to be a barn. QT will probably discuss that on the lounge if that is indeed a barn. And look at this. I'm still HPW Hall of Famer. Where there is a show tonight with a mystery partner, which I will not be at because I am thousands of miles away. Where am I? Where am I? Perhaps not. Or perhaps I am. Or perhaps not. So if I show up at Beast Barnett's new place, knock on the door and say, Hey, have you a spare bed? He will know in advance whom the mystery partner possibly is. Maybe it's someone from Portland. 
because there are a few people missing from BCW last night. Could be. Could be. Or could not be. Who knows? Also, my women's expert returning to HBW after a long absence, which that bird up there is very happy about. Look at that. That bird was ecstatic at the mere mention of Cameron Starr. And she is facing, I believe the broad's name is Miss Jobber. So Cameron Starr versus a Miss Jobber. And a fair warning, if you buy cupcakes from Miss Jobber, you spend about 80% more than you should have because you could have went to your local bakery and bought the exact same thing, which is what she did, and then marked the price way up. Way up. Put them on the table and claim that's baking them. And a certain Stompin' Sam Bragg believes it because he's totally not right in the head. A little bit odd. Just watch Spike TV on Thursdays and you'll see what I mean. You'll say, wow, he's a little bit off. Because he is. Some would label it insane. The British labeled it creepy. Creepy, they called him for several minutes. And seriously, what's with the gloves? What's with the gloves? I don't understand it. So, this week coming up, as I said today, maybe, maybe not on a mystery partner. Maybe I got that call from Dining Idol saying, hey, bro, um, you want to be the mystery partner? Hook your boy up. Come on, man. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. Or maybe it's Stevie Jonak, even though she denies it. Maybe Donnie Idol said, I want a partner that'll make me look taller. So he hired Stevie, even though it won't really work because you're about the same height. But also, we will send our results of the Sammy Pandora nickname contest to her. Perhaps she'll announce whom won that contest. There are a few choices. And Sunday on Turnbuckle, Cody Knotts. He is the man behind Pro Wrestlers vs. Zombies, which will be hitting the movie market very soon. People such as Hacksaw Jim Duggan and Shane Douglas. And Roddy Piper starring in that film, the man behind it, Cody Noss, joining us on Turnbuckle. On Monday, eh, it's pretty looking free. I would watch The Rock just stare at me, taunting me as if to say, come on, click the button. The network will work if you just click the button this time, come on. And then once I do, he'll say, The Rock didn't say Simon Says click the button. Just watch The Rock's picture some more. Apparently that's what the free trial is. You just look at The Rock's picture for a week, clicking on it, and nothing happens at all. Over and over and over again. Tuesday, DeLown, Stevie, I believe, will probably be talking about Sammy Pandora's contest and all things negative. Stevie's own sister came to my house twice last Tuesday and it was far more interesting than Stevie. He was like, that can't be done. That's not possible. I don't like that. All things negative, Stevie's a boot. Polar opposite of her sister, who was wearing a Pantera t-shirt, short short, and a leather biker's hat, and a big nose ring. Big nose ring. And Wednesday, yeah, it's pretty much looking free. Thursday, I'll watch Stompin' Sam Sever on impact see what he does to Christy Hemi probably in case you're a museum quality glass and then steal her underwear and then throw, cut a promo about how it's not creepy and everyone does it surely you must understand because he does that and now it is being broadcast for the world to see live on Spike TV good job stomping Sam Sever good job Congratulations on that eBay win of the used undergarments. So, Friday of next week, huge, huge show, Matt Bourne tribute. We went to the fiance of the late, great Matt Bourne, got her permission. We are running a tribute to him. I believe she will be joining us, as are Mike 
Egger from EverywhereLegends.com, the Tokyo Monster Cahagas, Tim Storm out of the great state of Texas, Jerry Jarrett of Memphis Wrestling, Marty Janetti, whom I will see at Fort Wayne as well, and the Pacific Northwest owns Tex Thompson. Going to be a packed house on Song Guys Wrestling Show. Going to be talking all things Matt Bourne, which will include QT if he knows what's good for him. If he knows what's good for him, he will keep it to Matt Bourne. He won't be discussing CJ Edwards kidnapping Mary Jane Payne eight months ago. He won't. Believe me, he won't. Or there will be tendons snapped, vertebrae shifted. And that's just from Stevie's forearm. Wait till the real people forearm him. Not that Stevie's not real, she's just tiny and negative. So to review, door goes nowhere. Nowhere. Because there's no doorknob on it. And birds are really excited over Cameron Storm. HPW, maybe, maybe not, I'm in the mystery partner on that six man. Maybe it's someone from Portland. Maybe it's Buddy Highway. Tape! He'll say, tape! Maybe it's Lone Star. Maybe it's Petrov from Russia. I don't know. Could be anybody. Could be anybody. And Beast is moving into his new place. On Sunday, Cody Knotts joining the Turnbuckle. On Monday, eh, it's pretty much looking free. Tuesday, DeLounge or Stevie will be like all negative. Completely negative because that's all she's about. Most negative human being in the history of negative human beings, which she will deny because she is negative. Wednesday, I forgot this until just now, but we have bringing the ruckus back. Isaiah, his guest. If things go smoothly, if not, it will be pure entertainment as Ruckus flips a groove and goes completely nuts and cuts a huge promo. Because that was gold the last time it happened. Pure gold. Pure gold. On Thursday, and Stompin' Sam Sever going to be still in undergarments from female sports entertainers and denying that he's creepy as he sniffs it. And... On Friday, Matt Bourne tribute. Knowing him as Big Josh, knowing him as Maniac Matt Bourne, knowing him as Doink the Clown. Be discussing the life and times of that fine sports entertainer. So pretty much from this undisclosed door, which is red, 120 